What's up, YouTube? Busy boy, you go strange one more time. Um, and yeah, this is Sunday. It's the premiere of The Cape. I have been looking forward to this show since um, late 2009 when I first heard about it. And uh, I've been following the show ever since. And now, um, here we are at the uh, arrival of The Cape. Um, it's one of the very few new shows that have come out um, this year. Because um, all the other shows had their premieres in um, 2010, and they've already had, they're already like well into their season now. Um, but the Cape um, waited until this long to come out, so there's been a lot of build up, um, a lot of ads been put out, a lot of promos and whatnot. And uh, I've already did a review of the preview, and like I said, looks like a throwback um, to the uh, the 50s um, heroes. Um, and old school comic book storytelling, which could go either way. Um, like I said, it looks a bit cheesy from how I'm looking at it, but I mean, I don't know, maybe I'll eat my words, but we'll see. So I am going to watch it, and then I'm going to review it, and then I'm going to get back to you. So see you in two hours. Peace. So, just got finished watching The Cape, and man, damn, uh, I hate being right, you know, it, I, I went into this not really expecting to be blown away, and really expecting it to be, you know, very comic book, and it was, and I don't mean that in a good way. Um, I just feel like it's missing something, and I don't know what that is, but it just doesn't do it. Like, it's doing it, but it's not doing it. It has a it has a nice Smallville thing going for it, which I think is cool, but I mean, is it just me, or did the whole thing just happen really fast? Like, I don't know, I mean, I mean, sure, it, it had to be accelerated, you know, but I mean, it seemed like he was trained really fast, and it's like, to learn all that, all those illusions, escape art, I mean, Batman took years to do this stuff, and this guy just, like, then he's already disappearing and whatnot, I, not buying it. Not buying it at all, unless there are some years in between this. Also, Somebody needs to get that kid off the screen right now. Seriously, I can't stand him. He annoys the hell out of me. I've always been a fan of Chess the Game. Chess the Villain, however, just... I don't know, he seems like Lex Luthor light. Like, the margarine of Lex Luthor. What the hell was up with Chess's contacts? I mean... Really, that's what you pick? The contacts? It just looks stupid. I'm just saying. Summer Gao couldn't even save this show, even if she took her top off. Okay, so maybe if she took her top off. Some of the things I liked about it, Keith David is always cool to see. Um, I really like his character. Um, he's cool. I, I really like him. Vince Faraday, on the other hand, kind of comes off as Clark Kent Light. Um, I don't know, I, I like him, but at the same time, it's just, I don't connect to him. He just kind of, not not Tom Welling Light, Frank Castle Light. There, there's your, there it is, Frank Castle Light. Um... I don't know, I get it, I get, you know, the whole, you know, frame for something he didn't do on, but... Man, damn, I... I'm, I'm just, I'm disappointed. I, I really am. Um, where the hell did he get the money, the time, 
and, and, you know, the knowledge to buy all those little vials of poison. I mean, did he go to the carnival and, and you know, ask if they had it? Because it seemed to me like him and Max hadn't talked in a while, so I would be really curious as to where he got that from. I mean, did he get it from, um, uh, Orwell? I, I would like to know. I would like to have that information because it just seemed to just come out of the blue randomly. Marty being the backstabbing friend. Uh, no. Also, here's something I forgot to mention in the preview that I did for this. Um, is he at all worried that he's gonna get sued for pretending to be a character that already exists? You know, for using the name of the character, the cape, if, you know, the cape already exists. Is, is, is he worried at all about getting sued? I mean, I suppose since he's dead, he can't really get sued, but I mean, still, that's... Gotta bug the actual writer of the Cape comic book series just a little bit when it comes out that, you know, there's a Cape running around like that. I'm... I try... I'm, I, I, I try to like it. I... And it's not that I hate it, it's just I don't love it. I don't... Okay. I hate to rant again, but No Ordinary Family blown me away because it was a show that could have gone either way and it just blew away all my expectations. It was believable, down earth, really funny at appropriate moments, and it just had a really nice thing going for it. The Cape, again, this should have been a movie because it just fits perfectly into a movie storyline. It has the setup of a movie, it really works as a movie, not as a TV series. I don't see this lasting as an entire television series. I just don't. So there it goes. That's my review of The Cape. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, I don't know, man. I'm, I'm really disappointed. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I don't see it living very long. If it does, I'd be very surprised. Um, but it's just, I was right. And I don't like being right, especially about something like this. I, I, would, I would have liked this show to blow me away, but it didn't. Not at all. It was exactly what I was expecting, and it's not a good feeling. Not a good feeling at all. Peace.